What's good? It is your boy Bake. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about the builder and how the builder is broken again in NBA 2K22. Uh, but before we do that, I need y'all to do two things. Spam up in the comments below. Lock down, gang. I need to see them emotes. And then also let me know what builds are you rocking with right now and are you excited for season two those are the two things i need to know in the comments below but without further ado let's talk about this builder right here man so i was on stream doing some investigative work detective bake was at work and i realized some things that i've noticed in the builder and i noticed that smaller builds get more badges more attributes um, and more things to their player than taller players. And as the taller you get, the more you lose. That's just what I've learned. And it was crazy to find, figure that out, but that's how the meta is. And that's why I don't think they're going to patch a lot of these smaller builds because if the builder, remember the power forwards, they got the better badges, the better build. I mean, not bad builds, but they got the better badges, the better attributes, and they was all in that position. And I realized like, yo, how the heck are these players able to get all this stuff and no consequence? Like how do they get all these attributes and these badges without, you know what I'm saying? They getting damn near dunks. They're getting all the shooting. They're getting all the playmaking and they're getting a lot of the cru crucial uh, defensive things like steel and perimeter defense. Yes, they may not have blocks and rebounds, but if you're a point guard, who's getting point? Who's going to worry about blocks and rebounds? Look at my attributes and look what I'm able to get with this build right here. 94 speed, 93 acceleration, 49 strength, and I still have some left over. And you're going to see as I try to uh, raise this dude height to around about 5'10", 6'2", or whatever the case may be, you're going to see I'm going to lose a lot. And, and I want you guys to see this and I'm, I'm going to break it down. As you can see, I, I have a lot to left over and I can do more with it. And the build that I made um, is going to have a 93 ball, 76 mid range, 85 passing, 92, I believe, or 93 ball handling, 92 speed with ball, 51 interior, 94 perimeter defense, 96 steals and 51 rebounds with a 70 vertical. Yes with a 70 vertical bro uh and he got 95 speed and i believe 93 acceleration or 94 acceleration it's one of the two but he's very very fast and and though he's short i'm able to get a lot of more things and you're going to see that later but i'm not i'm gonna save that for later that's not what the video is about so now you about to see me make this build taller okay so you see, I'm gonna make them about 184 and you saw the attributes for somebody that was about 181, right? Now pay attention to the attributes of somebody who's 184, all right? Watch this, look how this work right here, man. I'm gonna try to mimic the same thing that I made with my pri prior build. And then I'm gonna show you the screenshot of those builds neck and neck to see how much you lose the taller you get and to let you know that the builder is broken the opposite way now back then it was taller builds who got more than the shorter builds right and it didn't make sense to make a shorter, shorter player now this one is shorter players are getting more than the taller players so it may it may not be the same thing where it doesn't make sense to make a taller player just know you're going to be losing and more than you know a shorter player is you're going to be losing in some categories you're not going to be able to have a high 93 ball and you're not going to be able to have high dribbling um like a shorter player will you're going to be having to sacrifice and i learned that you're going to need to sacrifice attributes the taller you get and, and in a way i understand where this can make sense but if you're going to tax something for for somebody then you need to tax it some kind of way where it's balanced and right now it's not necessarily balanced you get what i'm saying because if i have lower speed with ball right if i have lower speed with ball lower speed lower acceleration why are you still taxing me why are you still tax me this is the second example i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you a drastic example as i make a player even taller look how much i lose even when the attributes are less even when the attributes are less 
right so i'm giving them the same thing that i had and look i'm already at 99 overall look at that that's at 1.84 look how much i lost by going up just three ticks three ticks i'm not able to touch the speed i have lower speed lower acceleration i don't have strength i don't have vertical uh and i don't have stamina you get what i'm saying i don't have stamina or any of that and i have lower attributes that's what i'm saying it doesn't make sense now check this third example and final example out now with my final example as you can see this build is 1.93 roughly around 6263 if i'm not mistaken maybe even 64 i have lower attributes than the other builds and look how quick my um overall hits 99. look at that look at that i even lose more points the taller you get my thing is this if i don't have the same like i understand if you was trying to give me 92 92 and I, there should be a cap but there shouldn't be a cap like this when you make them taller and your attributes are already lessened than the first two builds you already lose so much you don't even have the same speed you don't even have the same things and you already losing more that's why i said the builder's not balanced because there should be ability to have a player that can have the, the ball handling the, the the perimeter defense and so forth but you can't do that now let's go back to the first build and then we're going to look at the second build and then the final build so you can actually visually see that there's a discrepancy in this game when it comes to the builder check this out so again this is the first image of somebody who is 1.81 i believe that's roughly around 510 if i'm not mistaken these are the attributes that he's getting higher speed higher speed with ball and he's not even at a 99 yet let that sink in let that sink in he's not at a 99 yet we raise him up just a little bit to 1.84 and he's at a 99 he gets the 92 speed with ball lower attributes lower speed uh lower acceleration no strength no vertical and no stamina so look how much he lost Look how much this player has lost as you raised him up just three ticks, okay? And then last but not least, the last one, 1 1.93. Look how much he lost. Look how much he lost. He don't get the speed. He don't get the acceleration. He don't get the strength. He don't get the stamina. So that's what I mean by there's, there's a discrepancy in the builder. You shouldn't be penalized for getting taller to the point where you're losing out on things when your attributes are smaller or lower than somebody else that's at a smaller size. Do you get what I'm saying? And that's why I'm bringing this to your attention and let you know the builder is broken. It is broken, but it's opposite now. Smaller players get the benefit of the doubt than taller players. And now when it's invested in the builder, that's when you know that we have a new demigod and they are the five nines five sevens and below they're getting more badges they're getting more attributes and they're being able to do a lot of things and i don't know if 2k is doing this because they're small so they want to give them a fighting chance but they need to be some balance there need to be balance and, and there needs to be some transparency when you go about making a builder so y'all let me know what's your thoughts about this uh live life stress less you rocking one of the best without god my life would be a mess always remember to have faith hope and love i'll see you soon god bless